Hello my dear students, I am Simple Batra here from Simple Digital School. So today we are going to cover the topic that is transaction processing system which is the first type of information systems as we have already started unit 4. In the previous lecture, please find out in the description box the earlier lectures. In MIS lecture 25, we will be covering today what is transaction first, definition then examples, types of transaction processing system, its importance, its characteristics and features. Firstly, let's understand what is a transaction. Jab bhi exchange hota hai payments ka ya exchange hota hai kisi bhi goods ka, that is called as a transaction. So we say a transaction is any business related exchange which can be payment to the employees or sales to the customers. So we can say transaction is the exchange of goods, services or even a communication in between the two parties or the two sides which is actually affecting both the sides. If simplest case agar hum dekhte hain, toh it can be a conversation in between you and your friend. Basically in this case you are exchanging the information. And both the sides are getting affected. Dono ke paas information exchange ho rahi hai. That is the effect basically. Every transaction processing system basically keeps track of all the transactions. Operational managers, they need the transaction processing systems because they keep track of all the elementary activities. Jitne bhi operational level par activities hoti hai, that is the elementary activities of any organization jaise ki sales receipts cash deposits payroll credit decisions and flow of materials in a factory for example agar hum baat karte hain ek fridge manufacturing company ki daily basis par kitne fridge kaun se model ke sale off ho gaye that is the track of one of elementary activity so tps Transaction Processing System provide all such kind of information which works at the elementary level or at a operational level or at a lowest level in the organization. Transaction Processing Systems are actually the computerized systems to computerize all the business related work of operational level or daily routine transactions. They serve the organization's operational level that is the lowest level of management. Its principal purpose is to answer the routine queries of all the customers or track karna ki kaise transactions flow ho rahi hai within the organization. Which kind of questions are answered by the transaction processing system. For example, Mr. Sunil had to take some payment from the ABC company. So what happened to Mr. Sunil's payment with a single click? If the information system is able to answer this question, that is the transaction processing system working at an operational level. To talk about a banking system's example, check number 0112 had to be cleared on a particular date. If it is cleared or not, if you need to check this, this you can check through the transaction processing system of the bank. To answer all the questions of operational level, the information required must be easily available, current and must be accurate up to date. Basically at the operational level, all the tasks, resources, goals are already predefined and they are highly structured because they are repetitive in the nature and they get repeated on everyday basis. For example, in case a particular customer has approached for some credit, it is very easy to be judged by a lower level supervisor because he can easily check the criteria which is already predefined, rules are predefined and he checks if the customer meets the criteria. If yes, then the customer is given the credit, otherwise not. 
so the transaction processing systems work at the operational level and are used by the operational level managers and keeps track of all the elementary activities and transactions of any organization now this is an example of transaction processing systems in case in a company 2000 employees are working at different levels then all of them will get the salary and all of them have a fixed designations within the organization and the salary structures are predefined so definitely her employee ka same salary structure ke according calculation repeat hota hai her month so this is a repetitive task lower level management pe hota hai operational level pe hota hai aur operational managers iske upar kaam karte hain and when it gets computerized and a transaction processing system which is the information system implemented at the lowest level of management how it works let's see when we say a payroll system means her employee ki salary automatically calculate karega ye after every month on a specific date depending upon that a particular employee has worked for how many days and how many hours within the given month uske liye ye maintain karega time sheet ki ek employee ne ek month mein kitne number of hours work kiya input rahega is transaction processing system ka wo time sheet se number of hours and salary package of that particular employee right now this particular payroll system solves all the online queries of a particular employee agar koi employee cross check karna chahe ki maine ek particular month mein kitne day kitne hours kaam kiya and how my salary has been calculated that can be solved easily through this online queries mechanism now employees ka sara data मेंटेन होता है एम्प्लॉय या फिर फाइल डेटाबेस में विच इज मेंटेन्ड एट अ बैक एंड थ्रू द डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम्स ऑफ एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो कि हम ऑलरेडी यूनिट टू में डिस्कस कर रहे हैं हर एम्प्लॉय का ईच एंड एवरी रिकॉर्ड ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर वर्किंग डे इज अवेलेबल हियर इन द एम्प्लॉय और फाइल डेटा बेसिस इंक्लूडिंग के एक एम्प्लॉय ने कितना लीव लिया और कितना अर्न लीव थी कितनी कैजुअल लीव थी एवरी थिंग द सेम पे रोल सिस्टम गिवस रिपोर्ट टू द मैनेजमेंट ऑल्सो एट बोथ द लेवल दैट इज मिडल लेवल एंड टॉप लेवल टू लेट दैम टेक द डिसीजन एज पर द नीड ऑफ द वेरियस सिचुएशन इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन basically transaction processing system keeps track of both internal operations of an organization and also keeps a good harmony with the external environment factors which are interacting with the organization jo hamara external environment humne define kiya tha information system mein usse bhi ye interact karta hai now management ko to reports deta hi hai it also gives reports to the government agencies if required like about the income tax gst or employees ke jo paychecks hain wo bhi generate karta hai payroll system agar 2000 employees hain to 2000 employees ke checks ko generate karega ek payroll system which is fully computerized and automated basically it keeps track of money related matters or money related transactions of any organization also it updates the general ledger of any organization which keeps track of all the incoming and outgoing monetary terms within the organization kitna cash flow hua kitne checks aaye kitne checks bounce hue kitne checks clear hue aur कौन से एम्प्लॉय का कौन सा चेक नंबर इशू किया गया इच एंड एवरीथिंग इज रिपोर्टेड टू द जनरल लेजर बाय द ट्रांजैक्शन प्रोसेसिंग सिस्टम्स एंड द एम्प्लॉय डेटा इज सेपरेटली आल्सो मेंटेन्ड बाय द ट्रांजैक्शन प्रोसेसिंग सिस्टम डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम अलग से मेंटेन करता है पूरा डेटा एम्प्लॉयज का एंड एम्प्लॉय डेटा इज also maintained by transaction processing system in separate files so that it is safe in it 
Moreover, there is a master file which is always updated in the transaction processing systems. This master file permanently stores each and everything about employees, their transactions, their permanent details. Employee number is also called as social security number at many places. So it saves it. It contains the name of the employees. It contains the address, pay rate, that how their salary is given, gross pay, federal tax, FICA, Medicare, that is medic claims if they are given, state tax, how much tax is deducted for every employee, net pay. In case the employees are getting the provident fund, the same provident fund is also reported to the concerned government agency here. Transaction processing system basically works upon the employee payment transaction data such as a time card that or the time sheet also we call it. Now what are the outputs of this particular system? That is the soft copy and hard copy of reports given both to the management and the paychecks are issued to the employees also. Other examples of transaction processing system, it can include the sales order entry, hotel reservations, your railway reservations which are done online on everyday basis. That is also an example of transaction processing system. Shipping of goods. On this slide, you will get the explanation of the same payroll transaction processing system which I have explained in the previous slide only. Now we can define the transaction processing systems. It is an information processing system that captures and processes every single transaction that takes place within the organization. These transactions include activities involving collection, retrieval, modification and all set of activities that trigger the retrieval of all transactions. So a TPS has to be highly reliable, consistent and efficient. Now we have two types of transaction processing systems. First is batch processing system or the same is also called as batch mode. Other is real time processing, same is called as stream processing system or the online mode also. When we talk about batch processing system means we are processing transactions in the form of batches. These batches can be customized as per the organization's requirement. Jesse organization hogi uske according batches banenge different transactions ke aur wo sari transactions ek saath execute ho jayengi single batch mein. For example, agar ek company hai usme employees ka payroll system work karega batch ki form mein that is bi weekly manner mein aur a weekly manner mein. To wahan par bahut sari employees ki ikatthi salaries generate hongi in a span of time or in a two weeks respectively automatically but in this case if 100 employees are getting salary in a single batch for example it means it can lead to a time delay in this type of processing because agar hamare paas 100 checks hai to unka bill generation or check clearance would take little time instead of clearance of one check or a one bill generation. So batch processing means 100 employees ki weekly basis per ikatthi salary generate hogi, bill generate hoga or checks jayenge ikatthe for the clearance. This can lead to the delay. Second type is real time processing. The best example is your ATM machine which is your transaction online getting done on everyday basis. We have thousands of transactions done through ATMs that is automated teller machines. Traffic control systems are also the example of real time processing or online mode jaha par hamare paas real time mein instantly at the same point of time immediate effect ke saath single transaction is processed basically. There is no delay of any transaction here as soon as you insert your debit card you can get your money instantly that is why we call it the online mode or the real time processing so definitely if you want to get your work done instantly real time processing is better if you can afford to get it delayed you can offer for batch processing 
why the transaction processing systems are actually important because they handle and manage the operations automatically multitasking is definitely implemented here at a very wider level and there is an unmatched ability you can process thousands of transactions without any particular delay there will be no breakdown even if you are executing multiple transactions parallelly through any transaction processing system second tapping the raw markets tps is a very good career tool so that your business or the businesses can be operated freely in the different segments of the society by working even remotely aap kabhi se kahin se bhi automated apne systems ko kar kar sari ki sari transactions ko process kar sakte hain so definitely through this the businesses can tap all such kind of new markets which were not in their geographical reach earlier and and transaction processing systems provide the operability so that the raw and new opportunities can be taken care of very easily now what are the characteristics or features of the transaction processing system in any organization when you have thousands of transactions getting executed automatically on everyday basis reliability factor is very very important and these days all the organizations are completely dependent on tps systems by using the transaction processing system seamless working of any organization becomes possible fast response there is a rapid response bahut hi responsive systems hote hain aur timely it gives feedback or the response to the customers which definitely makes the customers happy similar structure and integrity because repetitive task hai so same method is implemented for all the transactions being processed and definitely protects the data within the organization or error hone ke chances bahut hi minimal hote hain because hardware or software systems which are implemented are really good authorized control security transaction processing system allows only the authorized people to conduct the processing activities any time because there are so many recent advancements done that it allows only the authorized people to access even from the remote location the access of transaction processing system because there are very high and stringent security checks done on these systems there is a very good feature of user friendliness because agar user friendly nahi hoga system to na hi employees na hi customers easily uske sath interact kar payenge encourages the human interaction or interface and also decreases the chances of errors for inputting of data definitely agar input correct hoga to output correct hoga so we have covered the transaction processing system today our next topic will be the expert system which will be covering in detail in the similar way in case you find it usable then please subscribe the channel do share it with others also thank you so much bye bye take care